So what is going on everybody? Welcome back to No Money Spent. This is episode number seven and today... Hello. Today... Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness, if you guys can't see it already. I finally, finally got myself that PS5. Why is it so dark? Let me, let me get the lighting. Let me get the lighting right real quick. PS5, man. So finally, your boy made it to next gen gaming. And guys, I'll tell you from now, it has been very, very tough. I, I can't, like, my team, I think it was constructed for current gen because I am getting dominated on PS5, bro. Like, it's, it's kind of hard. But today's video, man, we're adding another free player from Madden, man. They're just giving us cards left and right. So the way we're going to be adding that free player is by this Wild Card Wednesday Fantasy Pack. And this pack is pretty much... One of the best packs I've ever seen. It comes with either one of these four packs. You can pick from a flashback, a heavyweight, rising star, or a veteran pack, and you get the choice of any of the releases from Wildcard Wednesday. Now, the way you guys actually get this pack is by completing these challenges for Wildcard Wednesday, doing all five of them for each week, and then you get it after getting 20 stars or tier four. Now, if you didn't complete those other challenges from before, it may be a little too late, but you get another chance for weeks five through eight. So make sure when these Wildcard Wednesday challenges come out, go ahead and get those done right away. They're pretty simple to do. You guys already know which player I'm gonna go ahead and pick, but between all these packs, Rising Stars may be the best one. Flashbacks, you can get a Daniel Jones that everyone has been using. Heavyweights, you can get yourself a decent offensive or defensive lineman. Veterans, Jimmy Graham, DJ Swearinger, but today we're going with the Rising Stars pack. Now, out of this, there's two options that I wanted to pick, or there, there was three. Let me see this animation though. Ooh, 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 ooh. that looked beautiful. It was either Zach Wilson, who everybody's going absolutely insane about because he's the only quarterback that gets Gunslinger at the moment. Then there's Jalen Waddle, deep threat. He's got 91 speed, one of the faster wide receivers in the game. And then Patrick Sertain. This is the guy we're going to be picking up because our corners are trash. If you guys didn't know, I did play my AFC Championship game. I'll leave a little bit of highlights up right now, but long story short, your boy got slapped. Now, I had to finish it on current gen only because you cannot continue your season from current gen to next gen. So I had to finish it out, played it. Do not play any kind of Madden after 10 p.m. because that's when all the sweats came out. This guy's team was stacked. The run game was crazy. He was dotting me up. My corners were getting burnt. And that's exactly why we're bringing in Patrick Sertain today. So taking a look at his stats, man, out the box, 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 89 agility, 91 jumping, 90 man coverage, 89 zone, and 90 press. Really great card. 6'2", 200 pounds. It's going to be the first player I actually go ahead and spend training on. I went ahead, bought a couple cards, sold them in order to get this guy his abilities. So first things first, we're gonna get him universal coverage. Then I'm gonna throw on Acrobat, which of course all corners right now pretty much need Acrobat. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and put Pick Artist on him, give some improved stamina on interception returns. So hopefully he goes crazy in this game. So we also have two other packs here to open up. We got the Gridiron pack and then the EA Play Reward pack for September. I'm not sure what exactly this has, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look. At what this is maybe we can get something crazy who knows we get two ultimate kickoffs not the ones we want we get an 81 david andrews and a khalil mac power up which may be worth some coin all right on to the gridiron pack here we start things off with an elite 81 cole beasley not exactly what i wanted there as nothing out of this before we get into the rest of the video man make sure to go ahead and do one thing for me guys now that i got this baby right here man you gotta leave a like on the video you gotta subscribe because the content's gonna be pumping out i'm gonna be better go ahead and subscribe leave a like comment down below let me know what you guys think man and uh let's give you guys a little lineup update nothing's really changed for the offense except for a new center in bruce matthews now the defense is where i really took a huge overhaul you guys already know Patrick Sertain added to the lineup there. We brought in Tanian pa Pasagnan. I don't know how to say this guy's name. I actually got this card from completing the team of the week solo challenges. You get the choice between him or Kyler Murray at 87 overall. Another huge addition to the team, literally huge, is Warren Sapp. Now I had his power up again. Did the same thing I did with Bruce Matthews. I sold a couple players, got the training, got him up to an 87 overall because 
As you guys saw in my AFC Championship game, I got destroyed. And some other notable additions, we brought in Levante David. I actually pulled him from my Weekend League Rewards Packs. And then I also got a Demarcus Ware. And of course, it only fits, man. I got myself a new console. There's a new House Rules game called Tug of War out. Now, I wanted to get you guys some of that Tug of War gameplay. I, it's hard, all right? I got a couple dubs, but it's done within a couple minutes. And I don't really think that's going to show the full gameplay of Patrick Sertain. So what I'm going to do for you guys, just for y'all, even though I am struggling, we are going to get our first game of the season this year, man. We made it to the AFC Championship. This year, we're going for a Super Bowl, man. I don't even care. Now, with that being said, I think every season, there should be a fresh start unless it's a Super Bowl win. So we got to change things up. We're going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs playbook here and then alternate defense, base 3-4. Now, let me know down in the comments if there's any playbooks you guys recommend. I'm not too much of a sweaty Madden player, but I try my best here and there. And then, of course, for our jerseys, we're going to... We're going to give us a little salute to the Broncos, man. We're going to do Broncos everything for the rest of the year. Only because Patrick Sertain is officially our best player alongside Montez Sweat on the squad. So we're going to lock in the Broncos for the rest of the season. Week 1 going up against Bell 2 Saucy. You guys see my new top 3. There's Patrick Sertain, Montez Sweat, Patrick Mahomes. He's got Youngblood, Quentin Williams, and Zach Cunningham. I just want this guy to come out in a different formation, man. He's all about the eye form. I want somebody that wants to pass the ball a lot as he's going to run it again here. Great tackle by Warren Sapp. All right, I'm going to press Sertain over there on the far side. We're going to press Sertain here. Yo, that works out. Hopefully, he goes with a pass, and he is. And who gets burnt? Who gets burnt over there? Ed Reed? Oh, come on. Sending four this time. I would have had him. Let's just throw. No! No, Najee, just sit on your route. Why are you running upfield? Here we go. Yep. Yep. That's a safety. That's a safety. All right, he finally has to make a play. Third and 12. We are in the nickel, so we're ready this time. Here to throw X. Who is that? Where is my curl flat? Hello? Ah, frick, man. Somebody get there, please don't let that block happen. This game is so frustrating on next gen, man. Go get him. Throw that. Let's go. Big play. Big sack by Von Miller. I respect the call. Fourth and goal, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna actually go into bunch. Let's see what happens. I'm in 3-4 though. Hopefully this doesn't sell me. Give me that. Patrick Sertain with the tackle. All right, this should open it up. That should open up the play action here. We're going to just... Oh, I had circle. We're going to throw that, though. Jimmy Graham. Oh, don't fumble. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I just cut up the wrong way again. All right, we're going to try this RPO. I haven't really done this before. That's a bad... Oh, it worked. It worked beautifully. Hunter Henry, we're in there. We tie it up. There's still hope, guys. There's still hope. All right, let's hopefully... We're hopefully going to send some heat here. He goes with the run. Cam Chancellor just too slow. Nick Chubb just killing us right now. Oh, he finally goes play action. Vontae David. I knew that was going to go there. Retain, make a tackle. Great, great shoestring tackle there. These are not the plays I want to run. All right, play action. We're set up in cover two. Like, how do you guys not take that in? How do you guys not realize that? Finally, play action. I'm all over that. Oh, the delay, the delay, the delay fade. I hate this game so much. Oh my god, that's all people freaking do. How is he getting out the pocket like that with Aaron Rodgers? I have contains on the freaking field, bro. He goes with a fake. I can't even control Dion. Give me that. Devontae David. Go down. Oh, now we have to just score a touchdown and win the game. That's a pick. Ah. Oh, gosh. My gosh, I just sold the game. And he's got his momentum. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. How is he getting burnt? Like, give me a freaking fumble. How do my players get burnt like that? 
somebody ma- Bro, what are you guys doing, man? They're not wrong, man. Zones are broken in this game. My man's are just standing there, not even moving. Look at Von Miller. Oh my god. Now his momentum's on. This is something I did not have to deal with in current gen at all. But I should have that. Okay. Ryan Dawkins does not have the speed. That diving bull. It's gonna take... Are right, he sending four? The dot. Oh. I'm gonna house that. Hey, I. Oh my god. Alright, so obviously in the first game here, we need a lot of help. We have a lot of things that we gotta brush up on. I cannot, like, this current gen system, it just. Hmm. You guys see the stats though? Aaron Rodgers, of course, obliterated our team 181 yards, three touchdowns. We had a touchdown and a pick with Patrick Mahomes. I really thought I was in it at first. And obviously, like the run game, like they said, it is almost impossible to stop. I brought in Warren Sapp, didn't do Jack, 163 yards. Maybe it's my play calling, who knows? Man, like, yeah, no, it's time, for real. Look at that, three pancakes, bro? Four for Hunter Henry? Why are you even blocking, bro? Like, that's insane. Defensively, Patrick Sertain didn't really do much. I know he has a lot more potential, but when you face a guy like this, like, who just runs the ball, comes out in I formation, it's like, he's just gonna run, 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 play action, whatever, and it's like, I can't really get him involved. But, um, it is what it is. It's all on me. We start things off with an L. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I do have Next Gen, which is huge, so leave a like down below for that, man. If you guys did enjoy the video, also leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one.